Hey Popkins! As promised, I will show you how to do a secret altar. I don't have all of the things, but I can explain what the things are so that you can do them yourself. I wish I had a bigger Ziploc bag. Like one of the, the larger ones is perfect, like the freezer size ones. Uh, but this is all I have. So we're going to use this. And you need a smaller plate. Again, this is from the dollar store. It does not have to be candle friendly as you're not going to actually be burning anything on it. I have the mixture from the big altar. I'm going to really try not to spill this all over the floor because that would suck. Okay. Bloopers! So I've got a spoon. We'll try it this way. <laughs> Just put the herbs in the bag. So you don't want to fill the bag full because you want the bag to be flat. You can cover the surface of the plate in glue and then glue the stuff on, but if you ever want to use the plate again, then it's kind of kind of defeats the purpose. And yeah, it can kind of be messy. And when you're trying to be secret, you don't want to be messy. So I've got some in the bag. Uh, I'm going to try to get as much of the air out as I can. Because I want this to sit flat. Move the camera down again. Again, quit looking at my boobs. Okay, so you make that flat. Oh, Merlin's gonna help. Or do you just wanna look up the salt? I don't think anything in here will hurt him. Um, but. Okay, Merlin, off. And then from here, you put the candles on. You use battery-operated candles only on this. You don't want to use flame candles on this, and you will definitely see why in a moment. Get your candle to kind of stick. It might fall over. Again, luckily you're using battery operated. I actually only have one battery operated tea light to show you, but, but you can get these at the dollar store. Put that there. We're going to pretend that these are battery operated. Do not use flame candles in your secret altar. And then here's the fun part. Get a box. Banker's boxes work well but I don't have any banker's boxes. Put the plate in here, and then take whatever you've got to put in the box. You can use papers, you can use towels. Merlin, that's not the thing. There we go. Um, so you want to make the box look boring. Close the box, and then label the box something boring. Alright, so this box, I'm going to label it Craft Supplies. Unless you have people who are going to go through your craft supplies, mm. or extra curtains, or if it's summer, you can put winter sheets. If it's winter, you can put summer sheets. <laughs> Craft supplies, whatever you'd like. HR documents, something that no one is going to look into. Extra towels, guest sheets. Um, it's only for a month, so yeah. Do that, and then you can put it on the top in the top of a closet, somewhere like that, where no one is going to look for it. When you are finished, Pull this back up so you don't get to look at my boobs anymore. A way to do this, the actual ritual clandestinely and not just the altar. Oh, I forgot to put the picture in. You know how to do it now. Anyways, because uh, you watched the last video. To do this clandestinely, because it's difficult to be chanting, I did record the chant. And you can put some headphones on and listen to it and just be absorbed by the, um, by the chanting. You don't have to say it yourself. You can mouth the words. Another way that you can do it is to take those herbs and the salt and put them in a bath in the tub. Um, you would have to use like, you know, new water every time, so new herbs every time. So you're going to go through quite a bit of them. But um, then as you're in the tub, put tea light candles at the cardinal directions, north, east, north, east and west. Hello, Merlin's still hopping. Um, and then put the Mikhail candle at south um, and then have a bath for a half hour, um, imagining 
everything being washed away and you being bathing in white light. So that's a way to do it as well that's a little bit more clandestine. I understand that not everyone has the freedom to do magic. I live alone and, you know, I don't give a crap what anyone thinks. I am uh, well out of the, what, the broom closet, so to speak, even though I don't consider myself a witch. But I understand that for some people, they may not be able to have the freedom to do magic. They may fear um, uh, some sort of persecution. They may not be open or comfortable. Whatever reason, some people aren't able to, to do magic openly. So there are always options. That's how to set up a secret altar and some alternatives for you to do this ritual if you can't be open about it. Hope that helped, and I will talk to you later. May you pray with a good fire, pumpkins, because tomorrow we start our ritual.